I'm Dr. Madeline from Ridgetown Animal Clinic and today I would like to help you better understand the ins and outs of dog grooming. Uh, my assistant Taylor will be helping by asking some questions about it and I hope we're able to help you see why proper grooming is important. Taylor, what's the first question? So Dr. Madeline, how important are grooming and hygiene for my dog's health? Uh, so grooming and uh, hygiene is very important for your dog's health. It's a really good indicator of the overall health of your pet. Um, now things like nutrition play an important part in like the texture of the hair coat, um, but it's a great way to identify conditions early on um, before they become an issue for your pet. Do all dogs require grooming? Yes, yeah, so even the hairless dogs um, all the way to the long-coated dogs require grooming. Um, it's a great way to remove any sort of um, hairs from your pet dander, uh, distribute the oils, so all dogs should have some level of grooming performed. What do I need to do when grooming my dog? So the first thing we recommend is brushing. Um, I did bring in a few tools to kind of show you guys today. Um, so this one is a really great, this one's the Furminator, but there are also generics of this. Um, this has little micro blades that are great at pulling uh, the hair out, especially for the dogs like Huskies that have that undercoat to help pull out that hair. Um, and then for your dogs with maybe longer hair, uh, like Yorkies, um, this is a great one. It's got like your little bristles, but then also those, uh, you know, fine little bristles there too to help brush out their coat. So uh, first step would be brushing out. You can also use a, another metal comb if there's a lot of tangles to kind of work out those tangles. Um, and then from there, you know, definitely doing a bath would be helpful. Um, it sort of depends how often you should do it based on the age of your dog. Um, the breed of your dog, and then you know, kind of the hair coat of your dog. So your puppies, we recommend maybe about every other week doing a bath, um, maybe once a month. Now puppies are also notorious for getting into stuff, so if they need a cleanup bath between those, uh, you know, regular maintenance baths, we recommend that you just dilute their shampoo down with some water, so it's not full strength, so it won't dry out their skin too much. Um, and then some of your dogs who are, you know, have like a longer coat, they may need um, a bi-weekly bath, you know, up to a month, just depending on how dirty they get or if they go swimming or anything. Um, and then, you know, of course, the regular grooming for your long coat dogs, just to remove that hair that uh, continuously grows. They don't typically shed like your husky um, would. And then ear cleaning is another important part for regular maintenance. So again, with that bath, after you bathe them, we would recommend doing an ear clean with just a good maintenance ear cleaner. Uh, that's gonna help pull out any soap um, or water from the ear canals. Also any waxy debris is a great time if you are noticing a lot of debris coming back at your dog. It might be indicator that your dog has an ear infection. And so that would be a good time to identify that so you can go to your vet and get that checked out. And then uh, nail trims or nail clipping is important. I also brought in our little nail clippers. So if you have a smaller breed dog, you might want to use these little baby nail clippers, which are a little bit easier to trim their nails. And if you have a larger breed dog, uh, using a more uh, sturdy nail clipper will be very helpful. And when you're clipping your pet's nails, if your pet has white nails, it's going to be really easy to see the quick, which is where that little vessel nerve ends, because it's going to be pink. So you'll want to trim just beyond that. If they've got black nails, it's going to be a little harder to tell. So what we recommend is just trim, uh, trimming back until you see a little dot in the center of the nail, which is going to indicate the quick. If you do accidentally trim too far back and hit the quick, you can certainly use some quick stop if you have this at home, which is just a little powder that you can pack in there. Um, if you don't have that, you can use cornstarch or flour. Uh, but we definitely recommend doing the nail trims anywhere from every two to four weeks because nails can grow really quick uh, and overgrown nails can be uncomfortable for your pet and also cause some conditions. Uh, if your pet is uncomfortable with you trimming the nails at home or you've never done it, I recommend starting out really slow. Maybe do one or two nails, giving them a break, use your uh, treats as rewards. Maybe later on the day or the next day you can trim some more and just kind of gradually introduce that. How does regular grooming contribute to the good health of my dog? 
So again, it's a really great way to help pull out any uh, hairs that have already been shed but are just kind of sitting there. It helps distribute the oils uh, from the skin into the coat um, throughout the body. It's also a helpful way to identify any underlying issues uh, or conditions that your pet has. So maybe a hot spot, um, maybe fleas or ticks or something. Uh, it's a great way to take a look at your dog's skin, which is an important part of their you know, hygiene and important organ system for your pet. Um, so it's a great time to kind of identify those issues. How soon should I start to groom my dog? As early as possible. The sooner the better. Um, now, for the, a professional groom, it might be that your groomer requires them to have their third set of shots, which would be roughly about 12 weeks of age. Um, but you can certainly start doing stuff at home, brushing, you know, your maintenance baths. We would recommend using just a generic or good uh, dog shampoo or puppy shampoo that's oatmeal based. I would avoid any sort of shampoos uh, that are human, um, shampoos or even dish soap because that can really dry out their skin too much. Um, but as early as possible, the better. One that will just get them really used to being groomed so that if they do end up going to a professional groomer, um, they'll be more comfortable with that. What should I do for my puppy's first grooming? So if it is at the age where they can get professionally groomed and they are a breed that might need to be professionally groomed, I would recommend taking them to a professional groomer. Uh, usually that first visit is just going to be an introduction for them for the grooming. Um, so they'll kind of go really slow. They want to make it a positive experience um, rather than it be the full haircut. Um, so, you know, just as early as possible for that. If you're doing it at home, again, you can brush out your pet with one of the brushes. Um, you can do a bath. You know, starting the baths early is really good, uh, you know, to kind of go ahead and get that process started. So that as they get older, it will be something that they're used to. What grooming services does Ridgetown Animal Hospital provide? So actually Taylor, who's asking these questions, is our groomer here in house. Um, she is our one of our vet uh, nurses, but in her on her lunch break, she does pet grooming as well. Um, so if you are interested in that, please feel free to give us a call and we can kind of have her go into more detail about the services she offers. Um, so that was kind of all of the questions. If you have any specific questions regarding dog grooming, please give us a call. We're here for you and we appreciate you listening to this video. Thank you.